God bless our homeland, Ghana. Hello, lovely viewers. This is your girl, Evie. Welcome to Tasty and Fresh Kitchen, where we prepare tasty meals with fresh ingredients, and you know that already. So today, we are celebrating Ghana's independence with some turkey jollof rice, as you can see. So you know what? Let's get started. So to begin with, I have my turkey meat. I have neatly washed and cut. So I'm going to marinate this, set it aside for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then straight to the fire. So I start with my mesen plus, some chicken seasoning, adobo. Then I add a little salt to taste, and then I add some rosemary, and then I stir for the marinade to incorporate into my turkey meat. Turkey has high source of protein, vitamin B6 and amino acid. It also contains some zinc and vitamin B12. It's very good for our health, especially when you remove the skin. But skin also, I don't know. Yes. So you can see our turkey is doing beautiful on fire with the juices. And the aroma coming out is oh my god mm, 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 mm. so with my jollof i have my stew already done so i just transfer into my jollof pots don't mind this my jollof pot okay i so so love it it is very good for my jollof in fact any quantity i want to prepare so i love it <laughs> you know there are some pots i would have penasempa because it gives you excellent dish so my stew, like I said, is ready. So I just add my long grain rice and then I stir. So if you want to see how I did my stew, I have a jollof recipe. I'll be sharing the link up there so you check it out. You see how I made my jollof stew. Very simple yet tastes amazingly great. So you can see I have added my rice. And then I have stir, so I add a little salt to taste. Stir again. And allow it to simmer for just about five to six minutes. So this is what we have here. Yeah, for the stews to release its aroma. So now I add my turkey meat broth and some water to it, depending on the type of rice you are using. Yeah, but if you want your rice to single out, that is any baku bakwa. You don't add lots of water. So you see. So I just cover it and then back to my turkey. I so so love turkey meats. Our Nigerian breading breadings will say toki. <laughs> Just look at how our toki is looking in mm, mouth watering, finger licking, eye catching. Hey, the papa, please try to eat some turkey once a while. So you see, now our jollof rice is doing great here. So cooking jollof rice involves lots of stirring and then please it should be on a very low heat very very low heat remember the fire is not cooking the jollof but rather the heat or the vapor so please let your fire be very very minimum so we we'll cover it up again and then we allow it to cook look at how beautiful our jollof rice has come out singled out and you know one benefit jollof gives it makes us happy anytime i see jollof i'm happy anytime my family sees jollof they are happy it strengthens our family bond 
and it even strengthens national bond yeah that's why we have ghana and niger jollof rice competition so friends and family just look at how my jollof rice is looking sumptuous and because as a ghana man we are using our local asanka you can see and jollof is doing very beautiful in our earthenware that's asanka or apotoyua yes so we are done so i am just going to add or pair it with my turkey and then some plantains so if you like this video just give your girl a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel thank you for joining the winning team kindly click on the notification button so that anytime i post a video you will be notified thank you friends and family for the support so far see you in our next video whilst i, I enjoy my jollof rice bye bye